Hey, welcome back to <laughs> another Share With Me video and today I want a little funky hair day. <laughs> and I, I was kind of like, he was like, what kind of hair day should I do kind of look? And my friend, I'm going to start his mugshot here. He's recommended for me to do this do. I tried to do a full hug with my hair in the back super short. I look more like a chicken. <laughs> anyway, on to this one. It is hallucination. Anyway, this is how it looks. Um, I bought this last year in 2020 in December. And it came in a box like this. It is a collaboration between two people. Um... I wrote them down because I want to put Nancy Nathan names wrong. Um, the owner of the company who made the soap, Lajones de Pesera. <laughs> if I butchered it, I apologize. But um, there's the soap, and they kicked in a sample, and the balm. And I'll show you up close, check it out. And I love the presentation of it and like I said it's in the box and then it has the sticker on the outside. Cool beans, right? Alright, like I says, I probably pronounced it wrong. Uh Habones de Sierra plus the Langley City shop created this up. Unfortunately it was a small run and it was in and it was out. I was lucky enough to grab it but I got a secret a little to, but to tell you that you want to just keep listening to this video and I'll tell you more. Anyway, and on this shaved today, wait, I'm going to be using um, my um, Mojo brush and I'm going to be using, um, this is what Gary gave me as a gift because he's like, have you, how can you not use badgers? And I was always like scared of badgers because it's like, never had one. I've done synthetic. So this is my, actually second badger. And um, there's a Razor Rock Lupo, and you're like, Banaka, can't you get another? No, I like this. I like how it's lightweight, it's aluminum, and it's been doing really great shapes for me. And then for the blade, I'm going to be using a mysterious blade that uh, David Bradner sent me. So we'll find out what this blade is in the second part of this video. And then thank you again, um, Craig McDonald for embroidering my towel for me. This is like my watermark in the video. And I had everything I set up to tell you about this soap. Uh, so give me one second. I, I got my notes here on the notepad. And this is the set notes. It's a fresh, woody, cologne fragrance enhanced with warm, fresh, and colorful spice notes opening up with a juicy mandarin and fresh bergamot. Enhanced with cardamom notes. It then lays into a sprinkle, we'll just go sprinkle, of black pepper and notes of floral, um, of violet rose. The base is made up on precious woods, umber, earthy notes of moss and patchouli, all to be rounded off with a balsamic labdurum. Anyway. That's the notes, and that's like the most uh, fancy stuff that I do here. <laughs> tell you about this up. I know there's a lot of people out there that probably could tell you it properly, but you know me. Anyway, hope you dig the do, and we're going to be cutting off to the lake shots and the shave. Alright, see you in one second. Okay, welcome back. I loaded my razor. Um, so I'm checking my message from Bradner because um, on the blade it had no writing. And in his message it says it's some of his favorite blades because he sent me a few. And some are Pulse Silver, some are Gillette Platinum. I believe Gillette Platinum so I was writing on it so it can't be that. Perma Shops, I don't even know if they have writing on the blade. And Blazano's, um, so you're with me. It's one of... One of the three. <laughs> so, that's what I have in my uh, Razor Eye Clupo. And let's get rolling. I already lathered everything up. 
I, I totally dig this smell. Probably smell better if I didn't have my hairdo in my face. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Anyway, you have left me this song. Let me say thank you. I really appreciate it. And of course, I got two buckets. One on the right, one on the left. One's for rinsing my razor. One has my water with my rat. So, I, I, I know. I put the soap off for a long time. Because I know a lot of people, when they get their soaps, they're just, bam, boom, using it right away. I, I just... To me, it felt special. It's like, I'll do it later. I'm going to do it later. I want a day I'm just going to relax and just take my time. And, you know, my beginning of the year went. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I'm still finding my hair when it was long all over the place. But anyway, sorry for that tangent. Um, it just... Now I had the time, and I asked Kyle, like, it, what can I say? What's the scent note? Because Kyle from Langley City, um, kind of correspond with him, because, you know, it was a limited edition. It was for the group, and I don't know what I can and cannot say. And he said that, here's a little secret. I told you guys you got to hang tough with me for a minute. And I uh, noticed... When I looked at my analytics, that you only hang time with me for like one minute and seventy-five seconds. But for those that hung tough, y'all know the secret now. Uh, Lingley City is working with uh, Jose again. How many secrets put out to you did again? Put on my cold paper here. The Hobo Hobones de Hacera. Um, they're working with Jose again on the upcoming soap. And if you guys, it's a, okay, it's number one, they're working together. Uh, tell you the truth, I don't know when it's going to come out, but soon, I'm assuming springtime. And if you are interested, Kyle says I could say this, you can message him on Lingley City Shave Shop on Instagram. And he always posts a lot of stuff on there. So if you want to keep up to date on things going on, go there. And I'm going to insert a picture here. And go to Instagram. Follow him. Uh, I guess you can message him and ask him about the upcoming soap. And it is a very limited run. Due to the fact some of the scents are harder to get. And for me, that's like speaking gibberish because I'm just like, what? But that's my little child brain of mine. But anyway, uh, Elise Nation is a great soap so far. I am uh, totally digging this scent. And the leather is really creamy. And I'm kind of interested on in trying the bomb afterwards. So this is my first one with uh, Jose's company. So far, so good. And a lot of people rave about his soap, so I am honored to actually get to try it today. And I don't know why I put it off so dang long. <laughs> and like I said, to me, it feels more like a luxury soap. And I don't know if there is such a thing, but to me, it feels like this is the type that you enjoy the scent, you relax, you do the hot towel treatment on your mug, well, for me, my legs. And just enjoy it, you know? No rushing. Not gotta hurry up and get out the door. Nothing. So, now you know the secret. Now you know where to go. Now you know who to talk to. Fortunately, you cannot get this soap, the one I'm using now. But, there is a possibility you could get the next soap. That's going to be coming out soon. So, yay! <laughs> now, I can do story time. You hung with me? Now you know I always like telling stories and what's going on in my life. Um, while I'm shaving. So, anyway. Um, I don't know 
Because I know everybody's like everywhere in the world. But here, Montana and Idaho, we had some badass winds come through, just like whooping and tearing everything up. So, um, me personally here in Montana, I'm always scared of our neighbor's uh, tree. It's a huge honking tree, it's a big pine tree. And when it blows, it sways. And it always throws pine cones at our house. And it's very, very, very aggravating and scary. Because um, the last time we had really bad winds, a lot of the trees came down. And amazingly enough, that tree stood. So um, after that, I noticed a lot of people in our local community um, started trimming up their trees, taking down trees, removing these big honking trees. But unfortunately, our neighbors don't want to, which it scares me. But what could you do? That's the neighbor's property, right? But anyway, that night, I couldn't sleep good. I was going to do my video Monday, and I was like, I can't do it because Sunday I had crap for sleep. So I'm like, no, I'm not feeling it. I just feel blase. Just something, I just, I just wasn't feeling right. Then my mom calls me, and I'm like, oh. She never really calls. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? She goes, uh, okay. She goes, um, you know, I always go out every morning to go feed her a couple of her two little moo cows. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my mom has two little moo cows. She had one, and it had a baby this spring, so. And she has two horses, so she has four animals total. So she was, I'm going outside, went to go feed the animals, and I noticed there was glass laying everywhere, because they got hit with the windstorm too. Theirs got up to like 65 miles per hour, but um, it always comes in from the south, so she wasn't too worried about it, but when she went outside, she saw glass everywhere. I go, glass? Why is there glass everywhere? She goes, well, she couldn't figure it out either. So, she was walking around, looking, looking, then she realized, see, um, my first vehicle that I purchased on my own, turning 18, was this little, um, Toyota Corolla, not Toyota Corolla, it was a Toyota, uh, it was a two-wheel pickup truck. I don't think they had a name for it, because it was just a little Toyota two-wheel. Two so, anyway, y'all know the little trucks. And I have a camper on it. And inside the camper, it's all carpeted and everything. But anyway, it's reversed into my mom's, uh, onto the pavement in between the garage and the house. And basically, it's just been sitting there for years. Since um, I can't drive no more, I had to give up my license. I quit driving, all right? So I basically parked my vehicle. Um, not wanting to, but... Unfortunately, when you can't see and you're a driving hazard, you just got to give it up. So, my mom said she was looking and the camper shell window was gone and the springs that held it down, the metal bar framing of the window was on top of the camper shell. So, it was so strong, it basically flipped that um, window up and shattered it. I'm like, dang, yeah, you guys had some strong winds. So, unfortunately, gotta fix that. <laughs> and I told her, I'm like, oh, I should just sell it. I sold my very first vehicle that my mom bought me, which was a 64 VW Bug a few years ago. And I almost cried when I seen that car go, because it was like, Memories of raising cane and just having fun with my friends. And I think we looted at 15 people one time in that car, and we just totally squatted that car. But you know, when you're in high school, you have fun, and you know, you just you just have fun. <laughs> you had no cares in the world. You didn't think about shocks and all this wonderful stuff. Yeah. And, um, so I'm still right now on the edge if I'm going to get rid of my truck. I mean, my mom's like, no, 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 I'll drive it, I'll drive it. I'm like, yeah, but my mom has so many vehicles. She has a truck for 
her horses, which she goes and gets hay with. And then that thing also pulls the trailer, which goes and gets the hay and wood pallets and stuff. And then she has a mini truck, kind of like mine, but hers is a, a Tacoma. And um, that's when they started giving it a name. And so, yeah, my truck was a 95, and I think hers is a 97. So anyway, yeah. And then, wait, she has that truck. She has two Toyota cars. She has her her Chevy truck. She bought her first vehicle, first time owner. It's um oh, it's a it looks kind of like a Chevy Big Ten, but it's not a Big Ten. It's a C. Is it Sierra? I can't remember what the name brand of it was, but yeah, she bought a brand new, first time owner, and my boyfriend's like. You know that truck's like worth so much money now, right? I'm like, yeah, but she ain't gonna sell it. And I kind of get that from her. Oh, yeah, I'm shaking. Oh, so you can see it. Isn't that cool? That's the labeling. Hopefully it's not reflecting. But that's cool. I like it has the little ling ling little right there. But anyway. First time with this ball, so let's see. Let's give it a go. How does it look? I don't know. We'll go with that. It might be a little too much. <laughs> but I got lace. This must look good. Well, if I spread them between both, I'm good. But, there you go. That was my story. This one is horrible. Horrible. Hmm, smells good. <laughs> Can't say that enough, right? And a good feeling. Hmm, yeah. Looks right into my skin. Okay. Let's do a quick recap here. Oh, did I show you the inside of the soap? <laughs> yeah. There you go. You can see my scoopy poo that I took out of there. Oh, I like this scent. And the other scent that um, I heard through the grapevine. Because I know somebody that knows somebody. And I smelled it. And he says the next scent that they're going to come out with is the bomb. So, can't wait for the second one. But, here we go. Lace Nation. So, the bomb. And used Mojo Brush. And, Resurrect Loop Ball with a unnamed... Blade, which is probably a, I don't know, Perma Shop rates on theirs or not. But anyway, one of the three. I have a 33 chance to figure out which one it is. But Pulse Silver, I don't know if Pulse Silver's right on theirs or not. But anyway, put down a comment so that you think it might be one of the three. <laughs> and thanks for hanging tough with me. And like I said, I'm going to put uh, Langley City's uh, link down at the bottom to the Instagram. So if you want to um, go check that out, I'll let you. Because I'm cool like that. And don't forget to hit up my Instagram. Also, until next time, thank you for hanging tough. And I hope the hairdo did not scare you. <laughs> I just want to do a little something different. You know, I figure Holly Nation, let's just do something wild. I, that was a toss up between this or a suicide roll. And if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. I will do my hair like that. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Bye.